Towers of Doom. Hey everyone, today we get to play on Towers of Doom. Looks like our team gets first pick, first ban. And this is our promotion match. Um, if we do win this oh, match, we oh, are going to get promoted to gold two, which is the highest rank we've gotten so far this season. I believe. Um, yeah, I'm gonna say that. Uh, looks like we are banning out Garrosh and Diablo. The enemy team is banning out Kelthos and Asmodan. Uh, everything's moving quite quickly here. I like it. Uh, looks like we've picked up Anubarak as our main tank. Um, the enemy team can easily What's, respond. Uh, what you want to do? Um, easily respond with. Let's see, a Murden would be okay. Um, what do I want to do? Oh, there we go. Johanna is definitely really good. Um, I can be another damage dealer. Who do I want to be? I'm gonna be Junkrat. You want to go for that then, uh, Slayer? Alright. There we go. Alright, so we are still looking for another damage dealer and a off lane tank slash bruiser. What do we got? Um, so Artanus can fill that role. Yorel uh, would be very good. Bruisers. Um. Sonya, once again, Not very good. Um, what kind of damage dealer do we want? We want. Oh, we're banning out Dahaka. Trying to get rid of global, so I'm guessing they're gonna go with Falstad. Double global. We're banning out Shogal. Imperious or Thrall, depending on what they take. Um, my goal as staying build as always put some English on it. Uh, taste for explosion, tricky shuffle, rip tire, uh, ripper air. And then we're gonna go endless nades and then a cannonball. The goal is just to delay, get as much damage as possible, and avoid any kind of dive. Lee Ming, Rainer, Brightwing, Sonya. Lee Ming is gonna be interesting. If I was interesting, okay. Hmm. Zero tool would actually be really nice to go against the Brightwing Sonya Li Ming, or sorry, Brightwing Rainer Li Ming. Uh, Johanna. Obey the call. We'll see. I can also take the off lane position if required, but. I think that's better suited for Thrall, in all honesty. Uh, Anubrak will do really well uh, to dive their Li Ming or Rainer. However, um, I guess Kel'Thuzad can follow up with it. Yeah, I guess it, that kind of works well. A Tracer to pick it up. So, who do we have? Yeah, uh, if the Nubrak actually cocoons Tracer, I think that would be probably the best we could hope for. One. Oh, only 5% extra. Uh, cocoon the Tracer. Um, no one can uh, either force a blink out of her. Li Ming can disintegrate it too. Dang, never mind. We'll see what happens. Um, I'm just going to use my range to delay as much as possible. I'm going to try to get as much damage as well. Looks like it's probably going to be Rainer versus Thrall in the solo lane. I think Rainer wins that. Just because it's melee versus ranged. Unless Thrall can get a good uh, wolf to a lightning and uh, wind fury. 
to put pressure on Rainer, I don't think he can really do much. Especially if he if he goes in with his Wind Fury, Rainer will just queue him out, so. Oh anyway. Prepare yourself for battle, heroes. So, as I said, put some English on it, level one. Uh reason for this, you want extra poking. Uh especially for towers. Like, if I want to be here and poke over here, I can easily do that from a safer spot. Um, it's all about my Q in this build. We're trying to get as much damage out as possible. Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah. Yeah, I got a crab. Um... Okay. They're getting his stacks. Okay, um... Uh, we do want to make sure we are trying to get all the XP. Although this fight is definitely beneficial for our Kel'Thuzad. There we are. Um... Okay. I must retreat. Here we are. Give him a little bit more. <laughs> Looks like Thrall versus Li Ming. Choose a talent. All right, taste for explosion. There we are. A little bit of extra damage onto that Rainer. Okay. Be ready. You must capture them quickly. Let's go ahead. No, they're not there. Nicely done. Um. Let's go ahead and throw that right there. Go forth and claim the altars in my name. The Raven Lord. Uh, it looks like the enemy team's giving up this bottom. For some reason, wasn't quite able to. There we go. Nice combo by the Kel'Thuzad. Okay. Ah, oh, messed that up. Oh, that's fine. Choose a talent. There we are. Uh, level seven, tricky shuffle now. There 
we are. Uh, we see three. No, they aren't there. Once more, the altars rise from the depths. Okay. Um, trying to think here as to what we can be doing. Be swift, heroes. Do not let the gravekeeper's cronies reach the office before you. There we go. Okay. Nicely done. Like all the others. Um. Yeah, he's dead too. Oh, nicely done. And now we're going to go with Riptire for the burst damage. Okay. Looks like we are putting some pressure down. <laughs> uh, took that to the face. Um, I gotta back away. We are nearly dead. Um, let's go ahead and grab this. Nicely done. The altars have risen. Now. Oh, nice. I missed completely whiffed on my rip tire, but enough of this charade. Bring down the green first core. Triple kill. Kill. Mega kill. There we are. Killing spree. There. Tower. Barely got away. Um, yeah, we're gonna go all the way back. Alright, hopefully they go and defend the bottom lane, but looks like the new brack is also out of mana. Um Brawl is pushing. Talent. Okay. Ah, that seems generous. Uh we're gonna go Ripper Air. again um I'm gonna stay actually down here in the bottom lane it looks like a new rack is thinking the same thing ok 
because as our team is looking for a kill. Lay claim to the weapons. Do not disappoint me. Your kills. Oh, that was very long. Yeah, he should get this kill. Or not the kill, get the channel. Alright. Nice ancestral. I am Lord of this realm. Again. It will not be stolen from me. Uh, yeah. Gotta watch out. Nicely done. Let's go to the middle. I'm dying a lot, aren't I? Oh no, I've only died once. My damage is pitiful. Okay. Um, we're now going to go with Endless Nades. Give ourselves a little bit of damage down here in the bottom, or the top lane on that wave. Okay. I'm just gonna try to use my speed here. The tower now belongs to me. All right. Doom to the gravekeeper. That's a GG. This and mine alone. That was quick. Yeah, the Rhaegar did very, very well. Brometheus. Uh, I was actually impressed with the Thrall, too. Um, I didn't really pay attention, or I didn't really call to attention to it. However, uh, there was a fight at the top lane over the uh, camp. Uh, he called for assistance, but no one came, and it was just him versus the Rainer, and he was able to kill the Rainer and um, not give up the camp. I think because the Rainer probably stood like melee range and just kept trying to kill him, and so the Thrall got a solo kill. Oh, right, so we had three kills, six assists, and one death. I used the Riptire once and whiffed horribly. So we're not going to pay attention to that. We did 19,206 in hero damage. Just uh, below the Nubrek and just above the Rhaegar. So we didn't do nearly as much damage as we should have. Uh, 8,357 XP contribution. But a 68,732 in C damage. So not bad. Um, so we did 8,000. Their top was leaming at 6,000. So clearly they weren't soaking nearly as much as they should have. And we also had 18 kills to two. Johanna five times, Tracer six times, so it is what it is. Uh, talents we went for today were put some English on it, taste for explosion, tricky shuffle, rip tire, ripper air, endless nades, and then finally at level 20 we would have gone with cannonball. Uh, looks like Tracer went with untouchable. She died six times, so she never quite got her um, 
as much like uh, her damage up and she also went with quantum spike so yeah uh let me know what you guys think and what we could have done a little bit better oh great maelstrom weapon <laughs> must have gotten a lot of uh melee on that maelstrom weapon can be very good by the way uh yeah let me know what you guys think what we could have done a little bit better and have a great day